Hey everyone, a very hairy Joel Hansen here today, and today we're going to do a slightly different video. Inspired by Randy Santel's recent video in which he covered four times that he'd been cheated by food challenge restaurants, today we're going to cover my hardest food challenges and times that some people have said I've gotten cheated by restaurants. Although I'm going to leave that up to you, I'm going to remain objective throughout this experience. I'm also going to exclude times I've done two challenges in one day and I've barely finished the latter because that's kind of my own doing, that's kind of my own fault. So with that, let's get into it. So first one we have today is my very first challenge ever. This is a burger challenge at a place called Old Dublin in uh, Prince Edward Island in Charlottetown to be specific and the challenge is called the Mount Dublin. So what made this challenge so hard? Well this is actually my first food challenge ever. The challenge itself weighed about five pounds consisting of 12 patties, bacon, cheese, and about a pound of fries. As I mentioned this was my first food challenge and prior to this I had no experience. Only thing I really did is I went on Randy Santel's website and looked up like how to prepare for a food challenge. Um, even with that small amount of preparation, let's just say things didn't go as planned. The 45 minute time limit on the challenge, which I mean to now I think was pretty reasonable, well let's just say it took me 43 minutes to actually complete this challenge. That's right, I barely had any time to spare. I was able to get the burger down in about 20 minutes, and then I spent that other 20 minutes just trying to get that pound of fries. The whole time with those fries I was gagging, the fries were cold, the burger went down okay, but if you're not used to eating large quantities of food, you're just not generally able or capable to do it. And even though I was a big eater and able to eat large quantities of food, or so I thought, eating it in such a short period of time just didn't really work out that well. So that would be the first hardest challenge we faced. Oh, and I will say, by no means did I get cheated at Mount Dublin. Everything was very fair. Uh, it was just my inexperience that uh, made that challenge difficult. Next, we're going to my fourth food challenge ever, which would be Moe's Ultimate Breakfast Challenge at Moe's Family Diner in o Oakville, Ontario. So what made this challenge so difficult? Well, this would have been the biggest challenge I had done to date at the time. As I mentioned, this was only my fourth food challenge, and this challenge was is about seven pounds. They say it's about seven pounds. Nobody weighs it, and I've seen versions which are bigger, some that are smaller. So I would say it probably varies between seven and nine pounds. So what made this challenge so difficult? Well, it was just a lot of food. There's a 90 minute time limit. It took me, I believe, 62 or 63 minutes. I barely got through it. Again, similar thing. I was gagging near the end of it, really trying not to throw up. It's very, very hot when you're eating so many carbohydrates, such as hash browns, pancakes, all those items. So that was what really made it hard. There's about three or four pounds of hash browns on that challenge, and that was, ugh, it was hard to get through. But I did get through it. Very thankful about that. So again, I don't think I was cheated at all in this circumstance. It was just a very big challenge, and I was very new to the game. Next challenge, which is undoubtedly one of the hardest challenges I've ever done, and I did it recently, was the impossible 20 pound ice cream challenge I did at a place called Hollywood Cone in Whitby, Ontario. So 100% these people did not cheat me. I knew, uh, like this was something we kind of planned, um, where I, I, they originally had like this uh, ultimate uh, banana split, and to which I went and did previously, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna come in and do a couple of them. So it was exactly what it is. Again, no way was I cheated. I knew this was gonna be very hard going into it, um, but I'll just tell you about it nonetheless. So 20 pounds of ice cream and other toppings, and it was like legit, it was crazy. So what was awesome about these uh, Titanic banana splits, ultimate banana splits, whatever you wanna call them, they each weighed five pounds each. So there's three of those, and instead of doing a fourth one, we opted for this uh, icon shake, they call it and it was massive, again, like over, like bigger than the ice cream sundae. So there was minimum 20 pounds of ice cream, different ingredients. Um, it, it was all very good tasting. Like I actually enjoyed like the taste of it throughout. There were so many uh, like different donuts and there was uh, bananas, chocolate bars, ice cream. Um, what made it more difficult is in one of the variants, we had chocolate bars and the chocolate bars all basically froze. It took a, quite a bit of time to actually kind of make each of the challenges. So we had them sitting in the freezer in the meantime. So 
it was like very, everything was very cold, very frozen. Uh, again, just overall very difficult challenge. Near the end of it, my head hurt. I've never been in a challenge where my head hurt. My head hurt and it wasn't brain freeze. I hurt, I hurt my head, my mouth felt weird, my stomach felt not great. Man, it was, uh, it was a lot to say the least. And that is by far the biggest food challenge I've done by weight. Yes, it's ice cream, all foods sit differently, but that was just a very difficult challenge, uh, which is essentially four different challenges all combined in once. But again, no way was I achieved here. The people at Hollywood Cone are absolutely excellent. It's probably my favorite, it definitely is my favorite ice cream place in and around the Toronto area or in Ontario that I've ever experienced. So I love that place. Definitely recommend checking out. It is a good beginner food challenge, their Titanic ice cream split, um, but don't do three or four of them. Just don't do it. It's very difficult. Next is a food challenge which was very difficult as well. Um, so this is the 10 pound Donaire challenge I did at King of Donaire in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So for this challenge, again, this was something that uh, we kind of prepared. They had, we were doing a charity event that day, kind of to celebrate National Donair Day. Um, and part of that, me taking place, was I was gonna eat a 10 pound Donair, which was the biggest Donair in the world. Let's just say it was, it was big, it was a hard one. So the 10 pounds, although that is a lot of food, it wasn't that that was necessarily difficult, like it, it was, don't get me wrong, it was difficult, it was hard. But what really made this challenge last a lot longer than I would have, you know, put to, than if it was some other food, like uh, like some kind of soft food, like let's say ice cream, for example, was the donair meat. So donair meat, which is like, it's not, no, it's, no, 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 it's not donor, 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 donair, donair, whatever you guys say. It's very different. It's not a European whatever thing. It is on a spit, but it is Donair. It is a Halifax, Nova Scotia, specialty exclusive. Yes, it looks like a shawarma, gyro, Donor, Donair, 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 whatever you guys say, but it's not, it's a Donair. Now that that's out of the way. So what was so difficult about it is it's just like the meat is, you know, it doesn't have a lot of moisture to it. It tastes great, but it requires so much chewing. And then on that massive kind of pita, so between the meat and the pita, just copious, copious, copious amounts of chewing. So that was very difficult. Um, and ultimately, you know, I think I had 60 minutes. It took me, let's say, upwards of 45, which it's pretty difficult. Like in that circumstance, I can tell that's pretty difficult. Uh, thankfully, I was able to do it. And again, by no means did these guys rip me off, cheat me or anything. No, love the guys at King of Donaire. They're all great at that restaurant. Seriously, my favorite place in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Now let's get into the places where well, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna remain very objective. So this is the one exception, one exception to the challenge, um, to the two challenges in one day, I should say, that I'm gonna include. So this is when I did a challenge at a place called Blue Wolf Bistro um, in Rochester, New York. So this challenge, eh, it's about five pounds. Five, six, which isn't that much. Yes, I did have a challenge earlier in the day, but what made this so difficult was I was served raw beef. Yes, raw beef, raw ground beef. This wasn't like a rare steak. No, and this wasn't a rare burger. I've had rare burgers before. No, this was raw. Jesus Christ. It's still hard. Yeah. When you, like the insides of the burgers were totally not hot like they were totally cold or room temperature when you pulled it apart it was stringy still like if you have a even a rare burger when the heat touches it it's not stringy it kind of breaks apart a little bit so i was served raw beef i don't think it was intentional myself i'll love, leave that up to you ultimately to decide but what made this so difficult is then again i was kind of already full i had this like it was raw beef it was absolutely not great tasting it was actually disgusting to be honest um and again I'm not saying the challenge was bad challenge but whoever was in that kitchen that night just didn't know how to cook a burger let's just say that and there was a point where i said like i called the server over again it was very busy and i said like listen can you like just heat this up or cook this or something more because this is raw and the lady, again, I understand, this is probably the first time she's ever in that situation. She was like, well, I'll have to call like a manager. So I'm like, 
Like, because there wasn't one there. So I'm like, well, how long is that going to take? I'm literally just asking you to cook this burger a little longer. Anyway, to make a long story short, at that time, I had like a patty or two left. I said, I'm just going to eat this. And uh, yeah, that was horribly difficult because of the raw beef. Next, we're getting into definitely, again, it's up there for probably the hardest food challenge. Maybe the hardest food challenge I've ever done. This was the world's biggest shawarma fry in a place called London, Ontario. Um, so that was the city. And um, let's just say this dish, which was supposed to be 10 pounds and looked like on the picture. And I actually even sent the guy a message and said, hey, this is the challenge, right? Sent him that exact picture. I said, and it's 10 pounds, right? And he said, yes, yes. So I literally had that in a like Facebook conversation. Um, and anyway, I showed up to the dish looking very, very different. Uh, it had never been completed before, and I can see why. So this 10 pound fry dish, I guarantee, I think I listed it as like 12 plus pounds on the video. It was, it was, it was more. It was insane. It was probably 13, 14, whatever pounds. It was just maybe 15. It was just the, like everything, if you have to understand, it was the big kind of, I don't know, like multi-gallon roasting pan, absolutely filled with French fries, and then just doused in literally pounds of sauces. I mean, the first bites tasted okay, but it was just, oh, it was so difficult. Near the end of it as well, the employees were kind of telling me different things. Um, the one guy was like, as soon as I asked him, I was like, as soon as I'm done this handful of fries, I'm done, right? And the one guy said, yes. And I ate those and I looked at the, the then that guy went away. There's a new employee. I said, that, I'm done, right? He said, you have to eat that literal glob of, of garlic mayonnaise, which was this big, like bigger than my fist. It's like a, at least a full cup. And I was like, what? The guy just told me I was done. He's like, no, no, you have to finish that. So then I had to eat literally a glob of mayonnaise and that was very difficult. The whole time, again, I'm gagging through this, especially the mayonnaise, I'm very much gagging. It was very difficult. Um, yeah, that was a hard challenge. Next would be another challenge with raw food. Ugh, why, why? So this is a place um, I did in Maine. It was the challenge I did in Maine a little while ago. Um, so essentially the challenge was to beat the wing record. So I caught the place like literally, like I'm talking like, I'm on the way, like 10 minutes away. Like, hey, so your wing record, it's like, I forget what it was. Let's say it was 60 wings. They're like, yeah, it's 60 wings. So, okay. So I show up there, I go on in, I order the wing challenge, blah, 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 60 wings. They kind of start you off with, I don't know, let's say it was 10 or 20, and then they bring them out, you know, five or 10 at a time. Um, and so anyway, I went in there and I ordered it. And then the guy comes out and says, oh yeah, by the way, there's a new wing record. I was like, what? You just told me it was 60 or whatever it was. And he's like, no, it's, I think it was like 88 or 89. So I was very, I was, I was a, very new to the food challenges again. I was quite uh, intimidated by this. But I was like, you know, we came all the way here, f you know, forget it, let's do it. Anyway, um, by the end of it, let's just say near the end, I was getting raw wings. Like the wings were basically raw on the inside. Um, and I like, I tried to tell them this, but this guy started live streaming me on their Facebook page. So let's say I was at like 80 wings. I had like eight more to go. And this guy is here live streaming me. And I'm literally just like, like, I didn't want to be like, Hey man, you these wings are raw. Like all I wanted was just cooked wings. And so I ended up eating some of these raw wings until they finally turned off the stream or whatever it was. Um, to which then I was able to be like, Hey, like get me new wings. And they did. So they were, it was a cool, like the staff was cool. Again, I don't personally think anything was intentional. I mean, they were trying to play music for me. They're trying to amp me up. Um, just in this situation, it just, it, a lot of things aligned. It wasn't optimal. In all reality, I should have just said, you know, regardless of the Facebook live, I should have said, Hey man, like these are raw. Can you just please cook them a little bit more. Um, yeah, that was difficult. That was very difficult. Next is a challenge, which I was told and promised was eight pounds and we showed up and it was at least 12 to 14. And at the time, although it had been completed about six to eight years prior when the challenge was about five or six pounds, I considered it undefeated because nobody had beaten 
the 12 pound monster or 12 to 14 pound monster that had emerged in the recent years. So called up the place um, and essentially they were, again, like very nice staff, um, you know, but you're talking to the gentleman, he tells you it's eight pounds, you show up and it is like minimum 12. And, uh, I, and it's been like consistent. I've had friends that have done it after me and theirs was like 12 to 14. The guy, like, I guess the owner of them again told him it was eight. Then he said, oh, maybe it's like 10, then it's like 12. And then I think eventually he might've said it was 14. Yeah, so the food wasn't bad. Um, the staff were again, very supportive. I very much appreciate that. I'm just not, I just feel that the somewhere in translation, it was lost that the eight pounds was actually 12 to 14. Might've been a mishap. Um, but again, I don't think it was intentional uh, or at least they were very kind nonetheless. And also what made it more difficult is my friend who was coming with me. Again, we were expecting an eight pound food challenge. So it was gonna be like me probably eating like five or six of the pounds, my friend eating two or three. Um, he was only able to eat about two or three pounds of food, maybe more like two. Uh, so that put at least the 10 plus pounds onto my shoulders and it was hard, it was very difficult. Next is a challenge which, woo, um, yeah, I'm gonna remain, I'm just gonna tell you the facts for this one. So there's this establishment offered two food challenges and I went in there, I did the first one, the first time to beat it ever, the gentleman was very surprised, very shocked. Please note that just two or three days prior, I called and confirmed, hey, you still have these food challenges and these are the details. So they had a burger challenge, which I did first, then they have a pancake challenge. The pancake challenge, I was told, was 10 pancakes, one goblet of syrup, and you know you had an hour or 45 minutes or whatever it was to complete it. So I went, go, I go in, I do the burger challenge. I said, hey, I also hear you have a pancake challenge. He said, yes, we do. I said, and so it's like 10 pancakes, one goblet of syrup, right? As I've been told, you know, two days before. And he said, oh no, it's changed. I said, oh? He said, yeah, it's, uh, I think it was 15 pancakes now and two goblets of syrup. I was like, oh, that's weird. When did that change? He's like, oh, it's been there for a while. So here I go uh, to do this pancake challenge the next day. These pancakes are massive. He says it's a four ounce pancake or four ounce, you know, pancake or ladle, which if you're not familiar, four ounces is like half a cup. Like it's not big. And these pancakes were at least like, I don't know, probably 10 ounces each. Like at least, like there's no way they weren't at least double of what they were, were uh, supposed to be, double to triple. Just the biggest pancakes, thickest, biggest pancakes I've ever, you know, basically had in my life, to be honest. And then I had two goblets of syrup to try to consume. This was so difficult. I just, I wasn't prepared. I like literally ate a little bit early in the day. I'm like, oh, it's only the 10 um, pancake challenge, which my friend Chad had previously done, or at least attempted, it. And it was like three pounds when he did it. And when I did it, it was like 10. So I wasn't prepared, ate earlier in the day, plan something easy, walk in the park, show up to this absolute monster. I was, you know, again, near the end of it, basically trying not to gag, not to throw up, flavor fatigue and just an absurd amount of pancakes and food, which if you've ever tried to eat that much syrup, like sugar and pancakes, oh man, you feel so hot. It's just, I would not recommend. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Maybe some mistranslation. But at that, essentially, that covers, at least to my recollection, what has been my hardest food challenges, which have not been brought on by myself. Again, there's times where I have done two challenges a day and the second one is very difficult, but I'm already full. That's kind of my own doing. So these are challenges which, again, were difficult for a variety of different reasons. Again, especially the ones at the beginning, by no means um, were they, or do I feel, you know, I was uh, misled or anything. Very much when it came to the five pound burger challenge at Mount Dublin, the breakfast challenge at Moe's, the ice cream challenge at Hollywood Cone, and the 10 pound challenge at the King of Donair. By 100% all of those, I went in there willingly and they were just very big, difficult challenges, at least for myself at the time. And yeah, no complaints. Love those, love all those people, to be honest. All those establishments are great. Um, especially uh, the Hollywood Cone, love 
the friends at Hollywood Cone and at King of Denier. Great people. So yeah, that was kind of the uh, my hardest food challenges I've done. It's often a common question. And yeah, so those were essentially the times I've had the hardest food challenges and challenges which I might have been cheated in. I've been told I've been cheated in them by other people. I'm gonna remain objective and let you ultimately decide. So everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this different video. Until next time, of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Happy eating. In this case, you can sit and talk. You can do what I do today. Usually you can't, but today, yeah, sure. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and hope you're all doing well.